Well, we've seen the COVID-19 pandemic's devastating impact on business. Now, the property sector was certainly not spared, with agents struggling to host potential buyers for viewings. But the market is now looking at reinventing itself and attracting more consumers. Let's chat about this some more now with Jason Shaw. He's from Pam Golding Properties. Jason, a very good morning to you. And quite a novel idea I'm reading here that, uh, that, that, that many people are thinking of. Tell us about this, about making offices, turning offices into apartments. Now, we know that, you know, they're, they're there have been some initiatives over the past couple of years. We've seen sort of previously industrial areas now becoming trendy uh, places to actually have your apartment or your, your penthouse or whatever it is. What's happening in terms of unused office space and office buildings at the moment? Um, thank you very much. Um, I suppose it, it, it goes without saying that the, the lockdown last year um, forced a lot of us to stay at home and uh, a good number of people reinvented the way they go about doing their business, banks, big business, um, as well as small business. Um, where work from home certainly became uh, the the kind of uh, the, the best thing, the flavor of the month as such. Um, what that's done, and I suppose why I'm bringing that up, is that we have a, an oversupply of commercial space now where landlords are struggling to find tenants. There's, there's too much uncertainty, I suppose, at the moment in respect of the potential of another forced lockdown, the impact of this uh, of the coronavirus on, uh, on the economy and on businesses and livelihoods. And uh, it's caused a good number of landlords to start rethinking um, the opportunity around turning their buildings into, into residential apartments. Um, the residential retail market subsequent to the 1st of June has actually been very buoyant. Mm. And I think in some senses that has influenced their, um, their thinking there. Um, and also, I suppose, in some senses that they can diversify their risk with a good number of tenants occupying mm. smaller apartments. Mm. So uh, where is this uh, being done successfully? Uh, what have you seen? What have you noticed? Or is it still sort of in the we're thinking about it phase? Yeah, I would say it's, 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 it's a, in an embryonic stage. We've been discussing this with a number of commercial landlords that are looking to come to market this year. Um, obviously, we've all been scrambling last year, subsequent to being let out and, um, and, and to do business and that there. But there, there are a good number of landlords that we are talking to at the moment. Um, the CBD in Joburg is a particularly um, a good opportunity, I'd say, um, and, and we're hoping to see a lot of that coming to the fore. We were in discussions at a you know, stage a year or two ago prior to COVID around the opportunities that existed there. But I think a lot with the um, with the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated that thinking as well. Well, let's talk practicality then, um, Jason. With with an office space, I'm assuming you're you're sitting now in one of those spaces that that could be converted into a home. What would be the changes? I mean, look, a lot of them come equipped with bathrooms. A lot of them come equipped with kitchens, and you'd have sort of a couple of little you know um, rooms in there as well. What would need to change? What would literally physically need to be done to these spaces? And how long would something like that take? Um, well, it's a good question. Um, you know, in respect of that, there, there's some certain um, absolute requirements in respect of the rezoning of the building from commercial to residential three um, and, and all the processes that, that need to be followed there. Um, you know, depending on the, uh, on the actual office space itself and, and the need to, to go and create and partition rooms and plumbing electrics, etc., ensuring that the parkings there and, uh, and and all the other requirements that, that we are going to need before we take something like this to market for either for sale or for rental um, are, are all key requirements. So, I mean, typically we would partner with a, a landlord and a developer in respect of that to come up with what we believe is the, the right feasibility in terms of size and price. What's becoming particularly popular um, at a price point or what they are starting to call these nano units, which was 25 to 30 square meters, which is, um, I suppose, at, at a time in the past where we, we wouldn't have been able to actually conceive how one can fit mm. an apartment into space, but it's quite amazing what they do these days. Um, but what's nice because of that there is that they come in, in, in at, at a price point which actually makes it affordable for first time homeowners and also the rental point for people that are looking to um, to, to find some way to live whilst they're starting to, to work their way into the property ladder. All right, so this most likely would be something you would market to maybe singletons or maybe just young couples, definitely not, not family spaces? Yeah, not, not specifically though, you know, it, it, it all depends on uh, doing the right sort of market research to see um, 
where this commercial property is situated um, and, and who it's going to really appeal to from a work, live and play perspective, I suppose. Uh, you know, when I mentioned that we are in discussion with a good number of these um, commercial landlords and that, that's not limited to the CBD. It, it, it essentially is all over the territories that we operate out over here, um, which is uh, essentially central Johannesburg and northern suburbs as such. Mm. Uh, just very quickly, uh, a lot of these office spaces and office blocks are also situated above, you know, big shopping malls or inside shopping malls. Is that would those be a no-no? Would, would those be uh, things that could also be uh, be considered uh, for conversions of this nature? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I think in terms of the desirability, those that are located above. Um, retail environments, etc., would be even more um, attractive and, and, and something that I believe um, at this point in time would be a very attractive option to take to market because there'd be a lot of interest from potential homeowners. All right, Jason Shaw, thank you so much for that. Something to look forward to, a very interesting idea as well. Let's see how it comes along.